High school baseball in Division One. A trip to the state final four on the line. Northview taking on San Ignatius. Bottom two, Braden Tackett with a rip out to center field. The ball gets down. Alex Primus racing around home. He beats the throw as Northview goes up early. Skip ahead to the fifth, Brody Akers. A blast to right center field. San Ignatius not able to make the grab. It rolls all the way to the warning track. Riley Ames being waved around. He scores all the way from first. The RBI triple puts Northview up a pair. Very next batter, Wildcats taking advantage of mistakes. The pass ball, Akers takes home. But the Wildcats, though, would find themselves in a jam in the final frame with the bases loaded. But Blake Bradford, the big time punch out as Northview advances to the state final four with a 3-1 win, a historic moment for the program. It means everything. Like we, all the work everybody's put in, our defense, our offense, our pitching, just everything throughout the whole year. It's, it just means so much. And the community has been supporting us all year, so it's great. Mason Lowry and Scoop Miller are on deck with more. Well, let's put this all in a little bit of perspective. The Northview Wildcats had never reached a regional tournament in baseball until last week. To go through their last three opponents as they have to beat Perrysburg, a thoroughbred of Northwest Ohio baseball, and Anthony Wayne, a thoroughbred of Northwest Ohio baseball, and now St. Ignatius, one of the best high school baseball programs anywhere in the state of Ohio. What an achievement. No question. Uh, credit Northview. They play with so much confidence. You know, they believe coming into this game, and not many teams can say that when you're playing the likes of a St. Ignatius who's been to the state tournament 14 times, state championship game five different times. That doesn't matter. Northview is moving on. They've done it with pitching and defense all throughout this tournament run. Now five postseason wins, having given up just a total of six runs. Garrett Zimmerman, he was so good yesterday against Anthony Wayne in the regional semis. Today, Blake Bradford threw a gem as well. Boy, he really did. To hold St. Ignatius to five hits. Remember, this is St. Ignatius' team. It's got eight guys committed to play at the next level. Their top four hitters have all committed to play D1 baseball. But yet Bradford kept them off balance all day. He really battled. I love how he just kind of persevered, even though sometimes they had their backs to the wall. And credit his defense behind him. I thought Northview was spectacular on the defense today, and they needed every play. Credit Greg Sparka, too. Now in his 10th year as Northview's head coach, he has done a magnificent job with this program this year, the culmination of all of the hard work that he and his staff have put in. Yeah, no question about it. It's hard not to root for a guy like uh, Greg Sparka there in his 10th season. But again, I love the approach there from Northview, and, and give Coach a lot of credit for that. They came out aggressive against St. Ignatius, just like they've done all year. Mm -hmm. A lot of times teams might get intimidated and change things up. They continue to put pressure on St. Ignatius, and again, they did it their way, and that's the confidence this team has, and that confidence is going to carry over for at least another week. The Cardiac Cats playing with a ton of confidence, and why not? They're off to Akron and the state semifinals next week.